Beatitudes. Happy Tuesday to you. I am Cami, and I am leading Fitness Foundations today. Um, you're going to need your ball and your hand weights. And oh, I've got some exciting news. I am going to be on campus today. I wish I could see you guys. I can't. But I'm going to be on campus today getting my vaccination. A little scary, a little excited. But it's one step closer to getting back to teaching you in person. So, hey, whatever it takes to protect you guys, I'm all in. Okay, so if you're seated, come on up to standing. Let's get you ready to warm up. I want to get those joints and your blood moving before we get working out. Okay, so ball and hand weights today. All right, are you with me? Let's see some good posture. All right, march it right. Right and left, right and left. Pump those arms. Good. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Heels to the front for the push. Push, push. Straight arms. Four more. Four, three, two. And one, march it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, toes to the back with a reach. Good, reach. Straight arm, stretch that back. Four more, four, three, two, and one, march it out for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, roll your shoulders with a heel. Roll with a heel. Roll with a heel. Roll those shoulders. Good. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Heel jacks. Arms and heels. Like a jumping jack. Without your jump, good. Four more like this. Four, three, two, one. Cross in front, it's cross and open. Cross, keep those arms up. Cross and open. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, little kicks to the front. Kick and kick. Keep it low to the ground. It's a baby balance exercise at a push. Four, three, two, one. Push it overhead. Four, three, two, one up to the side for four. Three, two, one, walk it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just your heels, heel and in, heel and in, heel, one more. Point your toe for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Very nice job. If you have water, go ahead and take a little sip of water. We are going to, we're going to stay standing here and we're going to grab our hand weights. Hi, puppy. Hi. Yes, I know you want to be with mom. You need to go away. Okay. So we're going to start out with a rotation. We're gonna warm up those rotator cuffs. You're gonna lay right there, huh? This is what happens when I don't have anybody home with me to take care of my dog while I do these videos. So it's a good thing he's cute, huh? Okay, we're just gonna rotate those hands to the outer wall. Good, just a couple more. Good, bend those elbows and rotate in and out. Tuck those elbows in, okay. Right by your belly button is where those weights should be. Good, 
Just a couple more. Four, three, turn from the shoulders, two, and one. Whew. All right, so we're going to open up our next exercise with overhead movement. So I'm giving you a little warning. So if you don't like to take your weights overhead, you can put them in your chair and join me with a closed fist for just range of motion. We're going to do an Arnold press. So let, we've done this before, but I'm gonna refresh your memory. You're gonna take your palms and bring them up. Your palms are facing in towards your face. Bring the pinkies as close together as you can so those weights are touching and you're right about chin height. We're gonna open this up wide to a goal post. We're gonna press it overhead. We're gonna bring it back down to a goal post and then we're gonna turn and rotate it back in. Okay, so let's just do a couple of them and then when we get into this, I wanna add a squat. Okay, let's start here. Take it open, press, bring it down, rotate and do one more practice with me, open. Press, bring it down, and rotate in. Okay, so here's your challenge. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, take your feet wider. We're going to add a squat to this. If you don't like this squat, you can just do it standing and follow along with just the Arnold press. So I'm going to give you some choices here. Now, if you're going to follow me, we're going to start at the bottom of the squat. When we come up, it opens and everything comes up. And as we come down, we rotate in, everything comes down. One big fluid motion up, and we're gonna take it down. Here we go. Bring it up for eight and down. Exhale, seven and down. Six and down. Five and down. Exhale, four and down, exhale three, and down, exhale two, and down, one more, one, and down, all right. Ooh, feet come back to neutral, arms down by your side. Okay, well now that they got your hips moving, hopefully you join me, we're gonna put the weights down and we're gonna focus on the legs. We're gonna do lunges. We haven't done those in a while. I know, because nobody likes them. I get that. Even in my live classes, nobody likes them. But they're kind of a necessary evil. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to be on the right side of your chair and I want you to hold your chair. So this is not a balance exercise because we're gonna have a hard enough time with the knees. So. I want you to take one big step, well, back it up a little bit behind your chair. So your arms distance from the chair, you're, you're touching it with the fingertips. Your feet are in neutral. You're gonna take your right leg one big step forward. See what I did as I stepped forward, I lifted the heel of my left foot. Now, take a peek and make sure your toe is facing forward. That's important because that knee bends and I don't want you pushing through the side of your knee. All right, now, as you're holding your chair, put your other hand on your hip. You're gonna have a very tall back. You're gonna bend that left knee, and the right one's gonna follow, and you're gonna come straight down and straight up. I don't want you to press forward, and you should not be bobbing your shoulders forward and back. Look at your chair, stay level with your chair. You don't have to go down very low. Okay, here we go. Take it down just a little bit and up. There's eight, down for seven, down for six. Don't let that back heel touch the floor. Five, down for four, down for three, down for two, one more. Down and one, step forward out of it. All right, you should be really feeling it in the thigh of your left leg. Let's go to the other side of the chair. I'm gonna get you set up over here. Okay, so you're slightly behind the chair and next to it, fingertips touching that chair. 
So this time we're going to take that left foot forward, but make sure your toes are facing forward, you're in neutral. A hand on your hip, left foot comes forward, right foot rolls up on that toe. Your heel is off the floor. You're standing tall. You're not going to drop your shoulders forward. You're going to bend that right knee and take it straight down. Here we go. Down, up for eight. Down for seven. Down for six. Down for five. Down for four. My joints are cracking. For three, down, for two, tall back, down, don't drop those shoulders forward, one, walk forward out of it. Okay, very nice. All right, so we're going to do one more standing. Come into the back of your chair. That way you can hold on there if you want to. We're just going to do some calf raises. I'm going to come over here so you can see what I'm doing, but I want you to hold on to your chair. So feet are in neutral, meaning that your heels are right below your pelvic bones. We're going to lift those heels and come up on our tiptoes. Try not to roll your ankles. Bring it up and down. Eight. We're working the calves. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Keep those feet right there. You're going to turn your toes out and keep your heels in the same place. So your, foot, your feet are angled out a little bit. It's a little bit more challenging. Same thing. Calf raises right here. Here we go. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Okay, now you're going to turn your toes in. You're going to be pigeon toed. Okay, stand tall. You might really have to hold on for this one. It's lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, beautiful. Okay. Let me check my notes and see where we are. We are going to have a seat. And we're going to uh, trade our weights for the ball. Come on down. <clears throat> Grab your ball. And then I'm going to come over that bar there in my chair. Okay, we're going to start with some ab crunches. So you're going to take that ball, you're going to trap it behind your lower back, between your back and the chair. Scoot your buttons back so that you still have a nice tall posture in your chair. All right, so this is just like laying on the ground doing ab crunches, except that we're seated. So that ball is going to act as our resistance. We're going to cross those arms. We're going to exhale. We're going to pull that belly button and we're going to round the back. We're going to make a C curve with our spine. So we're curving it over. I'm always telling you to keep a straight back, but not in this exercise. You're squeezing those abs and then we're going to straighten up and take a sip of air. All right. So y'all ready? Abs are tight. Here we go. Exhale, squeeze, release. You might find yourself squeezing your buns too. That's awesome. Here's eight, release. Exhale, seven, release. Exhale, six, release. Exhale, five, release. Exhale, four, release. Exhale, three, Release, two, release, one more, squeeze that belly, one, and release. Okay, we're going to add on to this. We're going to continue to do the ab crunch, but we're going to go a little bit faster, and we're going to alternate lifting our knees, okay? 
So we're gonna start with the right knee, then the left. It looks like this. Crunch with the knee, crunch with the knee, crunch with that knee. Join me, here we go. It's eight, squeeze those abs, seven. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one second set, it's eight, seven, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna move that ball to between the knees and come forward a little bit. All right. Okay, we're going to start out with a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with those knees. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that squeeze, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the squeeze, but keep it right there. Okay, we're gonna do an alternating exercise again. We're going to alternate extending our legs. Right one first, and then the left. So you're sitting up nice and tall, looks like this. It's right and left. Right and left, here we go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Add an opposite arm. Reach, reach, reach. Opposites. Are you doing it? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep it going, but take the arm overhead. Arm overhead. Same pattern, same arm. Are you doing it? Eight, did I mess you up? Seven, six, five, opposite arm. Four, three, two, and one. Funny how we get in that pattern when we're working the same arm. I take it in a different direction and the brain goes, ah! <laughs> it's meant to train your brain. So, not trying to be mean, trying to poke your brain. Okay, we are gonna take that ball up in between the knees and put that ball between the palms. Sit up nice and tall. Elbows pointing to the side walls. We're gonna do some chest compressions, but not like CPR. We're pushing into this ball, and I want you to feel it right up in here. Pectoralis major and minor. All right, nice posture. Here we go. Push, push, release. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, second set. It's eight, seven, use those chest muscles. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, beautiful job. Okay, um, what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna, do we have time? We're going to, we're not going to stand up and do another balance one. We're going to finish it up right here. So we're going to do an arm extension. Okay, range of motion for that shoulder. We're going to turn that ball up. We're going to slide it back. We're going to take it out and turn it down. Do it again. Move from the shoulder up, slide it back, take it out, turn it down a little faster. Up in, out, down, up, in, out, down, two more, in, out, down, one more, in, out, down, okay,
Okay, hold it here. Last set. We're going to run it all together into two counts. We're going to do eight of them. Looks like this. In and out. Join me. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch sides. Sit tall, nice and slow. Turn it up, pull it back, take it out, turn it down, do it again. Turn it up, pull it back, take it out, turn it down a little faster. Up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out. Two more. Up, in, out. One more. Up, in, out. Run it together. In and out. In and out. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Very nice. Okay, put your ball back. We're going to start our stretching. Come forward in your chair. Oh, let's take that right leg out in the diagonal. Sit tall. Point that toe and flex it. Fingertips come out over that toe. Reach a little bit. Breathe. Good. And bring it in. Lift that knee. Point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle. And go the other way. Good. Sit that down. Okay, other side. Sit tall. Point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out. Good. Breathe. Bring it in, lift that knee, point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. Good. Sit down, sit tall, lace those fingers together, round your arms like you're having a beach ball, round your back, and stretch. Pull those shoulder blades away from the spine. Good. And release that, sit tall. Open up those arms, roll the thumbs back, roll your head back, and release that. Okay, right arm comes across, left arm pulls it in. Drop that shoulder away from your face. Good. Breathe and release that. And bring that other arm across, pull that in. Good, a little stretch in the back part of that shoulder. Good. And release that. Right arm up, pat yourself on the back, take two fingers, push that elbow up towards the ceiling. That's your goal. I know not everybody could do it, but that's your stretch goal. Breathe. And release that. Other side, up and over. Take two fingers, push that elbow up. Good. Make sure your chin is off your chest. And release that. Open those arms out to the side. Turn your thumbs down to the ground. Press your palms back. Good. And bring it in. Let's see how I'm doing for time here. All right. So, one ankle over one knee. Sit tall. Tilt that pelvis forward with a long back, dropping that belly button, the opening that your legs make. Deep breath in, blow it out. Good. One more time. Deep breath in. Good. And release that. Let's switch sides. Bring the other ankle over that knee. Sit tall. Tilt your pelvis forward, dropping your belly button and the opening your legs make. Good. Deep breath in, blow it out. Feel those muscles release. Do it one more time. Blow it out. Good. And release that. Feet flat on the floor. Arms by your side. Rotate those wrists. And go the other way. Deep breath in. Arms up overhead. And exhale. And one more time. Deep breath in. Arms overhead. And exhale. Whew. 
Beautiful job. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you a little bit later on this week, Thursday and Friday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.